Hello guys, welcome back to another video and in this video I will show you how to implement this Android Alarm Manager in Flutter and if you don't know about the package it is useful to schedule some tasks into your Android application and it will be done after a while you can schedule it for an hour, a minute or for a day, for a week, anytime that you want. So. I found this package very useful, it is uh, easy to implement but there are some challenges which uh, makes me to uh, create a video on it and so show you guys those problems and challenges. So just want all of you guys to follow till the end of the video without skipping any part because uh, I will remove the useless parts by myself and if you skip uh, some parts you will uh, definitely uh, face some errors and some problems then you have to watch it again and uh, also before starting the video I just want you guys to like the video and subscribe to the channel for the future videos like this and uh, without talking too much let's start the video I have uh, created a simple project here which is having a single button inside the uh, scaffold by pressing this button I want to show you the implementation of this alarm manager like uh, I will print some I will show you by example so the first step uh, to implement this alarm manager is we have to come and install this next step we can copy these into Android manifest next we have to copy these codes inside the application now we are done with the Android manifest but we have to change this application name into something which we will create that class application because background services if you want to use the background services in Android whether it is notification or alarm you have to create a, this application class we will create this one the rest is the same so we will save this and close both of them if we go here here uh, the and down here it, it gives us the Java code for the application class but the problem is uh, if we if you have updated the flutter it is no longer using the java but it is uh, using the kotlin version as you can see the main activity.kotlin is here so you have to create the application.kotlin as well beside this main activity they have provided the code for java class of application you can just uh, simply copy this code and paste it, uh, create a new class here application.kotlin then since this code is java code you have to ch convert it into kotlin if I paste it here oops if I paste it here using visual studio code it will not convert this one to java for me but if you use android studio by pasting a Java code into Kotlin class, it will pop you for converting the Java code into Kotlin. So I did that using the Android Studio. Now here I have the code suite myself. The code for application.kotlin, I have it here. We just have to come and create this application.kotlin and paste the code. I will provide this code in the description, so don't worry about that. One thing that you should not forget is you have to mention your own package name in here the package name I will get it from the main activity .kotlin and paste it in the application.kotlin as well and I'm done here with the application.kotlin uh, there were some changes into this application.kotlin that I did so this code is working 100% don't worry next for main activity.kotlin as well, well I have uh, made some changes some modification because it was not working very well that's why I just made this modification uh, here also be careful with the package name don't remove that 
otherwise it won't work. Copy this code as well and save it. I will put both of these codes in the description, so don't worry about that. So now we are done with everything. We have already changed this application name in Android Manifest. Now we are ready to implement our Android Alarm Manager. So whenever I press the button, I want to implement this, that one. Android Alarm Manager dot. We have many functions here. Initialize, one shot, one shot add, periodic, and this set test overrides. So I will start with periodics and I will also implement the one shot at and one shot. Duration is type of duration we can give. I will say each se each 10 second you should call this. Each 10 second. Then we have got ID. You can give any integer number. Then we have got the callback. If you hover in the periodic, you, it will tell you that callback is type of function. And here down below it says that callback can be function of type, type void and type int. So here I will make a type void function. Each 10 second this function should print me this in console. So let's see if any other thing is missing from us. Here in main activity in uh, main method we also forget to initialize our alarm manager before using it so here come here into main main method and uh, make it a sync function so that it, it can use the await then before running your application you have to initialize the android alarm manager okay next uh, we have used it inside our uh, class so no need to yeah, it's optional you can use it anywhere so now we should be ready to implement our Android Alarm Manager. Let's see. But still, there is a challenge that we will face. I will show you now here that whether it works or not. But as far as we have done all the implementations, it should work very fine. But still, let's see. So here is another problem that says uh, you have to call this one. Ensure initialization. You have to ensure before starting the app because uh, running the app is a very quick procedure. So we have also, we need to ensure the initialization of the uh, any package before running it. So let's restart our app. So here we go with our application. As you can see in the console, it does say that alarm services has started uh, because we have called the initialization. So it means everything uh, went well. Now by pressing this button, we have to get this alarm done each and every 10 seconds. So let's try it. So it's been around 10 seconds, but still we haven't got any message in the console. The problem is that here it has mentioned somewhere here it is mentioned that we have to call the the callback method outside the uh, class even outside the each uh, and every class or method so it means that we have to create our callback not inside the class even we can we cannot uh, create a separate method here like uh, show print even if we call this method from here, it will not work. What we can do is, to solve this problem, we have to create the callback outside all the classes and all the methods. And here we can remove this callback and simply call that show print. So now if we save our application and uh, restart it, I think well, we should close it because the, the callback method is outside the class. Only saving and reloading it won't affect. So this time we have our callback outside the uh, class and method. Let's try it each and every 10 seconds. It should call us 
the alarm then method should print this in the console yes 10 second let me just save the code and and press the button after each and every three seconds a good practice for using this alarm manager like this is we have to call it every at least every 15 minutes not lesser than that but still uh, you can use it I haven't faced any problem or issue even though I have called it lesser than that so let's click this and see the result so the problem is that uh, we are calling with the same alarm ID that's why it's it's uh, it has been called only once and not uh, multiple times but for that if you want it to be called many times you have to change the ID each and every time you're calling the alarm manager so this was what I was uh, trying to explain this was a, a kind of challenge because you have to call this uh, function outside of all the class and all the methods because otherwise it will not work and the rest of the functions functionalities that it has is very much easy not too much hard uh, one shot will uh, be called only once at a specific time that you are specifying one shot at will uh, will be called at a specific time that you're specifying this and this one shot will be called only once in the exact duration like after three seconds it will be called only once but one shot at you will have to give a date time uh, class like providing a specific date and on that date it will be called and the cancel is used to cancel the uh, the alarm if you want to somehow on s at some point of time just cancel it so that's it thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and like and i will see you in the next video